In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how you can add end screens to your YouTube videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So the whole purpose of using end screens on your YouTube videos is to get your viewers to take additional actions after they've watched that initial video. And this can be to subscribe to your channel or to watch another video that you've recommended or that is part of a series etc. And there's really two ways that you can go about using end screens. So some creators like using pre-designed end cards. You can design these in Canva and then simply add that graphic to the final 5 to 15 seconds of your video. If you want to learn how to make your own end card, we are making a video on that soon. And then once it's released, we'll link it at the top of this video. Then the second way to go about it, which is the way that we are using lately, is to simply overlay your end screen, the subscribe button and the videos on top of your video outro. Now, the reason that we have been using this method is because we noticed a drop off in viewer retention when we used the end cards. People come to YouTube to either be entertained or educated. And once they realize that the entertainment or the educational part is over, they tend to click out of the video which hurts your viewer retention. And that is a sign to YouTube that your content might not be as interesting. So in order to keep our viewer retention as high as possible and for people to really watch the entire video, we often just overlay the end screen over the actual video outro while I am still talking so that that viewer retention percentage is a little bit higher. Is it really one way is better than the other? It really depends on your channel and your audience. So I always advise for you to test both and check the viewer retention and then decide which method is best for your channel moving forward. Now, without further ado, let's head over to YouTube Studio and then I'll show you how you can add an end screen to your YouTube video. All right, so we are in our YouTube Studio and there are actually two ways to go about adding an end screen to your video. So it is either during the upload process or afterwards when your video is already scheduled or published to your channel. I will first show you how to do it during the upload process and then I will also show you how to do it once a video has already been scheduled or published. If you're doing it during the upload process, this is what you would see. So you filled out your details. We've also filled out our monetization and ad suitability. And then you land on the step that says video elements. This is where you can add extra stuff on top of the video that you are uploading. And as you can see, the second thing in that list is add an end screen. Now you probably won't have import from video or apply template. This is what you get once you already have an end screen added to one of your videos and this is what you would see if you also have TubeBuddy installed on your channel. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to click on add and this will open up a pop-up screen. And as you can see, we're now seeing our video and down below we see a timeline and this cursor over here that you can change is set to roughly the last 20 seconds. Now I don't want it at the last 20 seconds. I probably want it at the last 10 seconds once that phone disappears from the screen. So I'm going to set it over here and then you can choose one of these pre-made templates. If we click on that, it will automatically fill out these details and then you can drag these buttons to the timing that you want them to show up. And then I think you would still have to select the playlist that you would want, but that is a very easy way to go about it. I'm going to do it a little bit differently and instead I'm going to select my elements one by one. So if you click element here at the top, you can select what you want to show on your end screen and we're always going to go with a subscribe button. And as you can see, you can drag it wherever you like it. I'm going to drag it to the right bottom corner. I'm going to add a video and if you are posting a series about the same topic, you might want this video to be the next step in your series. But for us at the moment, I'm just going to go best for viewer and then let the YouTube algorithm decide. If you want to add a playlist, you can. If you want to add a link, you can also do that. I am just going to keep it like this. And then again, I'm going to drag those buttons to fit the timing 
where I want them to show up. Maybe a little bit more. Yes, a little bit more. And there we go. And then I'm going to click save. So how do you go about adding an end screen to your YouTube video after that initial upload process? So this might be for a video that's already gone public or one that's scheduled or unlisted. How do you add an end screen to those videos? Let me show you. So now we're in our YouTube studio and you can see all of the long form videos that we have on our channel, whether that is scheduled, public or unlisted. And all you'd have to do is hover over one of those videos and click on the little pen icon and this will open up your video details that you've entered during your upload process and once you scroll down over here on the right hand side you will see subtitles and screen or cards which are those video elements that you can add during the upload process and then if you want to add an end screen all you have to do is click on this little pen icon and this will open up that same pop-up that you get during a normal upload process and as you can see over here we've already added that end screen in the previous step but if you wanted to you could do it right here so you simply click on element select what you wanted to add and it's the same process as during a normal video upload right and then once you're done you click on save my button isn't blue because I didn't change anything I'm gonna click on discard changes and there you have it that is how you add an end screen to your YouTube videos